Grab your pumpkin spice lattes, my friends, because we're embracing all that autumnal goodness thrift clip style. Can I turn unwanted thrifted items into beautiful fall-inspired trendy decor, or will these ideas simply just fall apart? Smells weird. I'll let you be the judge. DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are embracing all that good, cozy, heaviness sweater, wear a beanie, light a candle, and read a great book, fall energy, and we're gonna put it into some DIY projects around the home. It is no secret that I love to flip thrifted decor, and in this video, uh, it's gonna be no different. Uh, I wanna bring that fall essence into my home, but I also love to do it in a practical way you know so we are going to upcycle some thrifted pieces and just try to make them look a little bit more trendy a little bit more updated more appropriate and beautiful for my home so who's with me if you are with me and you're not subscribed feel free to tap into that old subscribe button and join me dear friend we are going on a magical journey to be more fall inspired so with that said let's get into this episode editor roll the tape Dear way friends, I'm in the car. We are about to go thrift shopping for autumn decor. To be clear, we are not Halloween shopping. That is a later episode, so don't you worry. We are covering our seasons, but I want to find cozy, cute, fall decor that I can put in my home that we can flip and make like super trendy because I'm on a budget. Seasons come and they go and sometimes the decor comes and goes so I want to make sure that I don't spend or overspend on this. I have Jess with me so she is going to <laughs> I'm not looking at myself in the mirror fixing my hair. You're like literally twirling your hair over there. Love that for you. So she's gonna make sure that I don't overspend today. I am on a budget of say 50 bucks. That's all I wanna spend. No more than $50. Okay, good luck. But before we get into our cozy fall, autumn shopping, there's one important thing we need to do. Hi there, can I get a grande pumpkin spice latte please? I made you breakfast, fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us, we got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys, I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and of fun, growing up is just a trap. So thrifting went well. I definitely found some good items and some things that I'm excited about. So I figured what I wanted to do before I get into that was really just break down where my head was at when I went thrifting because I kind of realized while doing it that this might be something that not a lot of people think about because a lot of comments I get all the time are how do you see items in that? How do you look at something and then decide how you're going to flip it? Like I go into thrift stores and all I see is junk. The way that I do this is I have a clear vision of what I'm looking for when I go into these stores. And by to do that, I create mood boards or I create some kind of guideline for myself of what do I want to what do I want to build? What kind of decor am I looking for? Now, the other thing beyond having a, a clear direction with your mood board is I kind of decide where is this decor going to live? In my home, I always like it to live in the kitchen. I have kind of like a little cabinet space behind my dining table. This is where my Christmas stuff goes. It's where my Halloween stuff goes. It's the place in my home where I like to put things. And same with the front door, kind of like the front entryway, maybe I'll hang a wreath. I feel like when you know where 
where you want your decor to go, it helps to find what items you need so you don't overbuy. So pulling up my mood board here, as you can see, I definitely had a vibe going. We had really warm colors. I had these kind of branches, a lot of pears in here. I liked the books with kind of like, you know, just a natural feeling. There was definitely a color tone, so it helped me pick things. We had a lot of wicker, a lot of wood. Coming back to this a lot throughout the day really helped me hone in on the things that I was looking for. So I think I have a really great direction for the pieces that I found. The only other thing I found yesterday, and this is just something more recent, is the idea around a good deal. <sighs> I don't know if you guys would agree with me, but I just find thrift stores are starting to get so expensive. Value Village is probably not to shade them, but I think that they are getting truly unfair about pricing. They're not really thinking about how, what is the value of this secondhand item. So I think when you're going into things like this, understanding your inspiration, what are you trying, like your goal, what are you trying to do? Understanding the location, wh where do you wanna put these items? And are these items going to fit in those spaces and three budget what is your budget and is the value of the item that you're buying truly worth that price because you know you're going to diy it you're going to put time and effort into it so really just thinking about all those three factors is going to help you make a successful thrift flip when doing you know very seasonal things with that said, um, I'm excited to jump into the first one and show you guys what I found because I think this could make a really cool, very fall inspired piece. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first items I got are these guys. So they are a bunch of wood balls. So this one was $2.49, this one was $3.29, and this one was $5.49. Let's pull up the inspiration photo that I used for this. So on the right side of this photo, you can see this kind of wooden round ball garland that's connected together with this nice jute rope. There's something about this that I absolutely adore. I don't know, I just love that it's like big and chunky. It just feels like fall, like chunky knit sweater with wood which is totally my jam and then I just I don't know I saw it and I was like I want to make that I found all of these random wood balls and I'm not really sure what they are maybe somebody out there will know like they kind of have a very decorative element on them and they are all misshapen of some but they are made of wood I knew that they would work perfectly for what we were trying to do I'm curious to know what's inside this and then in this one, there was also these kind of decorative black balls here with this white inlay etching here. And then we have a, a white version of this. This is so weird. What is this? I don't think this one's wood. I do not know what this material is. We got a pair. What I did love is that these came with these wooden acorns. How fun is that? But anyways, I just thought that this was such a great deal for the price that I was paying. And then also we have this little like, wicker piece kind of fun i mean we can throw this into a bowl and it's just kind of decorative a little side piece so so i figured let's try to make a fun garland using these balls here i think we could kind of create like a fun little mini version of this garland because it doesn't need to be that big like this i feel like this is going to create a pretty good sized garland so i figured if we can sand all these pieces down then we will drill a hole that goes all the way through so that we can string the garland uh to like jute twine through it and then we'll make you know a little tassel at both ends and then i think we're gonna have like a really nice little decorative thing that we can kind of display coming out of a bowl delicately in a beautiful fall inspired way <laughs> you know so yeah let's uh let's get the sander out and let's make a garland shall we
Let's move on. Why did I be so aggressive? Let's move on. Okay, we are moving on to the next idea. This inspiration came from this photo here. I loved this idea of this kind of like double frame situation happening where the inside antique frame was actually a chalkboard. I mean, we've seen chalkboards all the time, you know, especially when it comes to this like rustic look, but I don't know if I've ever seen a chalkboard done in an antique frame, at least not like that. And I was really taken by it. I was like, you know what? I kind of love that. I ended up finding three frames and I'm not quite sure right now which two I'm going to go with or if I want to do like a three stack. So I found this smaller one. This was for $2.99, but I really liked the, you know, the antique gold on this. I thought this frame was working for itself already. No changes necessary. I also got this one. I'm pretty sure I paid $4.99 for this. What I really loved about this frame was just all the beautiful decorations on the edges here. I love that it came in this nice antique brass. It was perfect. It was exactly what I needed, but I really wanted a bigger frame to kind of be emptied and sit in behind it. And I couldn't find that. So I ended up finding this one at the ReStore. This frame in particular is the one that I really want to focus on. It's not the right color. Obviously we have like a dark, like wooden brown on the sides. We do have a little bit of that antique brass, but I think what I want to do is just make it one cohesive color. So we're just going to take out all of the pieces for this one, let this one be empty. And then for this one, this is the one we're going to turn into the chalkboard. So I'm going to just need to see if the backing on this will work. And if not, we're going to have to replace it and make one. And then this one, I think I'm just going to have as empty, um, just like a nice little empty frame as a decorative piece to layer. I don't know if we need this one, but we have it. I'm not going to ruin the back piece on it. That's it. Bob's your uncle. So let's get started on this. Let's start pulling these pieces apart and then uh, we'll start kind of giving this a nice little antique look. Frame it. Bop it. Twist it. As I always say, I spend a lot of time alone, okay? <laughs> Where I had sometimes played chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find these seem impossible to score So I dream of To someday find that vintage love So I'm gonna let this dry and then we can get this set up where I wanted it to go. And that's DIY number two complete. Okay, we are just moving through these DIYs and I'm loving it. So let's move on to the next DIY. Again, I'm gonna pull up one of the same inspiration photos. In this photo, you can see that there's this like pear tree on sticks thing. <laughs> And I just saw it and I love it. I don't know what it is about it. I just like, was like, that is so cute. So while I was out thrift shopping, I found these for $2.99. I got this case of pears. 
and there's a pair of pairs. Actually, there's three pairs in here. So we got those going for us. There was also a lemon and um, a, a pepper. Love that for us. And then I got another pile here. This was six bucks, well, $5.49 to be exact. And in this one, we have another pear. We have a few apples. We got two oranges. We got some grapes. Isn't that great? <laughs> Did anyone ever have these growing up and then like you always put them in your mouth when you were a kid? The only problem with these pears is that obviously like the color's not right. This one's sort of getting there, but like still not quite right. So I thought, well, how hard would it be to just kind of paint them? So why don't we paint these up and make them the color and the look that we want them to look, and then we'll find some branches and then we'll attach it to the branches. And then maybe from there, we'll have this cool looking pear tree thing, you know? Let's make this love last till Valentine's. Let's spend this night together. Let this fire burn inside our hearts. Let us soak in all the pleasure. Now that the rain is slowly pitter patting, we are lost inside our lover's nest. We don't need the world. Just need us, what if we'd stay like this forever? These wine colored days, summer is gone. What do you think? Good stick? No, no. <laughs> Come back. No, don't eat my good stick, please. Come back here. That's a good one. No. All right, bad idea. Soon the sun will melt this love. We could part and never look back. Life will shortly have us fallen flat By the springtime we'll be strangers So I have one final thing I want to do before everything can kind of come together because I do have some more decor pieces that I thrifted that I want to show you guys. But when I took these out and I was looking at my inspo photo, I was like, you know what? These leaves kind of look the same as the eucalyptus in the scene. And I was like, well, I'm just going to throw this out. So why don't I paint these in a beautiful burnt orange and then I can reuse them again? Like, why not? So I'm just going to take a paintbrush I'm gonna take my yellow ochre and I'm just gonna start painting. I'm gonna try to keep these on their stems as much as I possibly can, but even all the like little leaves that have fallen off, I'm gonna paint them all and then we can just kind of like put them in the little scene and make this really nice fall inspired piece. Hopefully this works. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but I think this is a good idea. <laughs> You're like a song that I sing in the moon on a perfect holiday. You're like the Sun on my skin, when clouds look gray. You're like the joy of a trip that is coming to a place with ocean view. You're like an old familiar friend when all is new. When all is new, you're like a song that I sing in the moon on a perfect holiday. You're like the warmth of the sun on my skin, when clouds look gray. Okay.
Okay, I think we are ready to bring this fall inspired scene together. I have compiled everything that I want to put into this scene on here. It's kind of like my visual mood board, so to speak. I got my two frames, we got our new garland, and I want to show you a couple other items that I thrifted and I just, I can't believe I found them. Starting with this. Like how beautiful is this piece? These things, if you find them anywhere, are gonna go for $75 or more. And I got this for $7.99. So that's what I call a screaming deal. You know, it's funny, I thought about maybe removing the finish on this and just lightening it up or like beating it up a little bit more, but I kind of like the color. I like that it kind of fits my scene, so I decided to leave it. And I got some of the stuff from the other bags in here like our wooden pine cones. What else did I find? Oh, this. When I saw this, I was like, this is gonna work so beautifully. I love it. I also thrifted this little guy. This, so this was $5.99, which you know what, was a little pricey, but I just loved it. I loved that it was all tarnished. I love this little black detail on the top and I just couldn't say no. So I love it for our scene. I also, got this brown bowl for, well, this one was $7.99. It actually came with a bunch of different bowls, but I actually kept the bowls there. Cause I was like, I didn't want the little mini, mini bowls that came with it. But either way, I thought this bowl was perfect. Very on scene, on trend. Okay, and then I got this guy at the ReStore for $10. I don't know if it's just like a rejected decor piece because this is definitely something that you would find at a home sense or whatever. But I thought that that was just a screaming deal. And because, you know, my original scene that I was using as my inspiration had these big pumpkins in it, I was like, well, unless maybe I go find real pumpkins, but I just thought that this was so nice and something that I can keep around year to year. So I picked that up and I was like, well, that just fits my vibe. And then I also got this guy, which is just, it's actually a Halloween candle. <laughs> but the good thing is, is that it's black and I thought, okay, well, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, so this was a nice little snag. I wonder what smell it is. <sighs> Doesn't smell like anything. And then the last thing I got was this. So this was a bit more of a pricey purchase. I think this was $20 from the ReStore. But the reason why I wanted to pick it up was because I really wanted to kind of repo some items from it, like these little pumpkins here, maybe some of the flowers. This is a beautiful wreath. It's not really my jam, so it kind of feels sad to kind of repo items from it. But, you know, I am giving it some second life and I'm gonna keep the wreath underneath it or behind it because I think that this is gonna come in handy for a future DIY. But what do you say we get all of this together and we start making a beautiful fall inspired scene? I'm excited to style it. This is the fun part. So let's go style. Well, dear my friends, I gotta say, I'm pretty blown away with this cute fall inspired scene. This has gotten me so excited for fall. I like, I just, every time I look at it, I'm just like in the mood. Pour me a pumpkin spice latte right now. <laughs> All things said, I think that this scene really came together beautifully. These little pears, I'm just, I'm obsessed. And I love this garland, although my husband seems to think that it looks like potatoes. You take that back. 
I'm very happy to say that probably 95% of the things on here are all thrifted or secondhand. But you guys should let me know, what did you think of these DIYs? Did you feel inspired by them? Would you try something like this at home? Let me know in the comment section below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you found inspiration from it. And of course, sending so much love to my Patreon family. If you are looking for a community of DIYers to help inspire you, to give you advice, maybe give you a second opinion on any seasonal decor that you're trying to flip, then my Patreon is definitely the place for you. We have a beautiful community there full of lots of DIYers who love to DIY. So I hope you guys will check it out. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Happy sweater weather. Ha, ha, ha.